Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here. And today, the world's most famous sponge has been a dirty boy. So I am here to clean up his problems. Welcome to the SpongeBob DLC in Power Wash Simulator. Gotta be honest, did not expect that to come out of all things. But I am so for this. I love this art style. Look at this little jellyfish. Are you dancing? Oh my god, it's making the buzzing noises. And he is definitely dancing. Can I, can I squirt you away? You just seem to like it. Okay. Anyways, the backstory of why these things are so messy right now is last night there was a party for Gary the Snail, and uh, yeah, I guess things got a little too rowdy. Um, I don't know where I want to start. I don't want to start off at SpongeBob's house. I feel like we, we should do Squidward's first. Also, I do love that I have a brand new power washer. Patrick, I think the dirt came here because it wanted to. Deep, Patrick, deep. But yeah, we have a whole new power washer. This is the first time in any DLC. I was going to say, you know, how is a power washer really supposed to work underwater? I guess technically it would kind of work a bit. But yes, we have more high-tech technology here. So yeah, I have no idea if this is better than uh, the highest tier power washer or not. But the important part is it does work underwater. And we're going to get rid of all this algae on Squidward's house as well as on his bike here. Oh, you know what? Yes, because this is a new power washer, we don't have the fancy triple nozzle attachment, which might be a good thing because that thing was a little too overpowered in my opinion. So now we're back to kind of the old school way of using the yellow mostly, and hopefully that will be enough to get this stuff out. What is that? Is that just algae? Oh, it's just mud. Okay. All right. Well, that's as good as I'm going to get it without the support of a ladder. So let's go get that. There's also a box here that we have to clean. Also, I wonder... If the gnome is here or if there's like a special SpongeBob creature. If you don't know, on every map in Power Wash Sim, there's a hidden gnome. I'm curious if with this DLC, it's a gnome or not. I just realized the walking, I think, sounds like the walking in SpongeBob as well. That's kind of adorable. All right, well, either they hide that gnome very well or I am blind. And it's probably the latter. But yeah, I can't seem to find him anywhere. I ran around the whole map and uh, yeah, no luck. Anyways, I didn't know SpongeBob had a tanning area on the top of his roof here this is kind of, i don't know how he gets up here but you know what i'm not gonna question i guess i guess he is a squid so he technically can swim can't he if i was a dirt i'd want to live here too patrick okay can i get somebody else I feel like i'm losing brain cells reading these messages <laughs> imagine how many friends you'd have if you were a dirt why of all people is patrick talking to me can somebody else take the keyboard please Anyways, update, as you can see, Squidward's house is looking a hell of a lot better. This thing is a lot bigger than I expected, though. Um, Yeah, I'm still very much missing a little bit of the front, as you can see. Let's put on the extra long. Might be able to do this from the ground here. And yes, we are just taking off that dirt. There you go, Squidward's head. But I will say, after doing Squidward's house, this is way slower than my uh, maxed out power washer. This is going to be a little bit of a grind, but I kind of like that. I, I, I miss the struggle in this game. And yeah, this thing just isn't getting in these cracks very well. I might need to go up there later. Anyways, let's move on. Do I want to do... Yeah, let's do Patrick's house. Maybe he'll talk to me about it. Oh my God. What were you doing outside? I also n never really thought about it, but Patrick's kind of small. It's kind of adorable. And you can open up his house. And of course, he's been sitting in the seat. All right, let's clean the outside first. We'll go to the stubby, and I hope I'm not cleaning up a, cri a crime scene because it kind of looks like he died here or something. All right, there we go. I didn't know his rock was, like, red. It's like a dark red. It's a weird color for a rock. Why is this house so much easier? Like, I was... I wonder if it's the texture of Patrick's house. Oh, that being said, it was algae on Patrick's house. Oh, there is a bit of algae on here. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm insane. But this is so much easier than Patrick's house. Or sorry, Squidward's house. Oh, there's the dirt I missed. I don't know how I missed all that, but... Angles can definitely hide things. Am I gonna finish Patrick's house right now? Indeed I am. Now let's fix up this weather vane. All right, clean weather vane. Can I open this while in it? Nice. All right, not much left for old Patrick's house. I mean, he lives a pretty simple life. A TV, a sofa, and a light. That's all you need, I guess, if you're a starfish. What the hell is sea fungus? You know what? I don't want to know what sea fungus is. Patrick probably spends a lot of time in this chair. I don't want to know what I'm cleaning. But there we go. That is the greenest chair I've ever seen. Just got to get down and dirty now and do the underside. And then we should be good with this. And yep, as assumed, there it goes. TV is done. And now we just need the lamp. And done. I think that's everything for Patrick. Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't forgot about that. Oh, uh, this will be satisfying, though. 
All right, goodbye, Patrick Starfish. This is going to be satisfying. Oh, SpongeBob's talking to me. We did clean up last night. So yeah, as I said, there's a party. Well, if you cleaned up, what the hell am I doing here? Gary and I got our second wind and tackled the stubborn stains and Patrick sleep cleaned the rest with the reef blower. Go team. No, you didn't. No, you didn't clean up. And okay, now we're done, Patrick. So I still have a bunch on uh, Squidward's. I should probably try and finish up this one. Well, Squidward's eyebrow and nose have been cleaned, so that's like 50% of the level, I think. So, getting there now. Oh, there we go. Bike is done. I think I'm just going to leave the rest for the last because um, it's pretty much done now. We just got to do small things like uh, the eyeballs and whatnot. And I'm just super excited to do SpongeBob's actual home. So, let's start off with this. We got the Lessons Bubbles. So you can take bubble lessons for 25 cents. Seems like a deal. And there we go. The bubble sign is all clean. Now we just got to do the pineapple under the sea. I love these plants, by the way. They're just like art, <laughs> but I don't actually have to clean them. I thought it was like a texture glitch, but no, that's just supposed to be plants or coral, I guess, maybe. I, I don't know what it is. It's SpongeBob art. Oh my God. I did not know SpongeBob's house has a freaking garage in it. That's amazing. I should mention SpongeBob was kind of past my time. It came out when I was like, I don't know, 12, 13. And I didn't really take much to it. So I don't know a lot of the references. Oh my God. I just realized we have to clean every pineapple panel. <laughs> pineapple panel. I didn't think that would even be a word. Okay. Well, that's kind of a bad thing because the smaller the items are in this game, the less room for error you have. So the fact that his whole house is panels means that a it's going to be hard to figure out which panel i'm missing so i want to make sure i'm doing these perfectly hopefully but also there's going to be like no room for error in terms of dirt what is the white you know what oh it's the snail trail oh gross it's like what's the white stuff on spongebob's house you should never have to ask that question that that is a weird question to ask friggin gary had a real party though didn't he? he's climbing all over spongebob's house and everything i guess technically it's his house too oh gary I hear Gary. Where the hell is he? He's freaking meowing at me. Is he inside? I wanted to see Gary. Please tell me he's outside, like up there somewhere. All right. Well, we're almost on the bottom. I have to just get... Oh. oh, I thought that was Gary. Oh my God. I'm seeing things. This is freaking coral. Okay. Garage door's done. Just got to do the reef blower now. I like the details of that, by the way, too. The text said he was using the reef blower, so it's outside. Kind of cute. So if the dirt was dealt with, but our houses were filthy again by the time we woke up, 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 that can only mean one thing. So he's still claiming he cleaned them. We're off the hook. Off the hook of what? And here we go. The final pineapple tile. I guess tiles. I hope I didn't miss any because they're going to be fun to find. But yeah, as you can see, it's looking much better. I'm a little worried about the top though. This is going to be a challenge to uh, clean easily at least. Might not be too bad, actually. I can just do the outside from the scaffolding and then hop in the middle, hopefully, for the inside. I really hope Gary's in there, because if I can see Gary on this map, I would be so happy. I'm very lonely in this game, man. All I see is cats. Okay, that's pretty much the outside done. Now, am I good enough to get 99% on my first pass of everything? I think I actually got it on this map, because, yeah, it's quite dirty in here, as you can see. So, we'll take our time. Are all these separated as well? Into yep, they are. Okay. Ah, uh, we did get the 99% though. Way more than even 99%. We have a lot of dirt left here. So didn't leave much dirt at all left to get at the end. That feels pretty good. It's been a while since I played this game. So thought I would be a bit rusty, but no. SpongeBob's house can't stop me. Oh yeah, there's so many cracks here. That's why these things are not finishing. So I just got on the outside. And I'm just going to go around and do this. All right, I think that's all of them. Uh, and I think that's all of it for this. Now, the only thing I haven't really focused much on is the um, windows. So that's probably where the last of my issues are because all the windows are kind of left. Okay, after this, I don't really know what else I'm going to do. So if I don't get the final three here, I'm going to be kind of sad. Damn it. Um, What did I miss? I did all the windows now, I believe, because I did the back one. Uh, obviously, Patrick doesn't have any windows because he lives under a rock. What am I missing? Uh, I don't want to go to the list. That feels like cheating. Ah, it's the hinge. I forgot Patrick had a hinge on this thing. Ah, and that's it. Okay, so now we need SpongeBob, SpongeBob, and Patrick's house path. 
Oh yeah, I guess I totally forgot about... Well, Patrick's path is looking great. Oh, not that great, is it? Damn it. There we go. So we need the bubble stand contain... Oh my god, I would have never... I didn't know that was a separate thing. Is it this? Yeah, okay, I didn't even see the dirt on it. And top pineapple panel. What the hell's a panel? There's leaves, but what the hell's a panel? Oh, pineapple panel. What am I saying? Of course I know what a panel is. How did I miss a panel? I thought I had them all. This is what I worried about because now it's going to take me forever to find this one. But it says top. At least it tells you kind of where they are. We just got to get the right one now. Oh, I had it. That's it right there. Done! Ah, oh, that wasn't too bad. It still took me over an hour, but we did it. And I'm sure SpongeBob and all his friends are going to be very happy about these things being cleaned for probably five minutes because it's underwater and freaking dust and sand goes everywhere. But there you go. Oh, I forgot about Sandy. I wonder if we can do Sandy's house. That would be so cool. What do we have to do now? Bikini bottom bus. Uh, I think there was another one too. Hold on. Let me go back. Oh no, it is just this one. All right. So I guess we're cleaning the bikini bottom bus now. Ah, some nighttime cleaning. I think this is the first time that's happened. I don't know any of any reference to this, but this looks freaking cool. Does it go to the surface? It must. Anyways, let's get on to this. I, I went around. I still can't find the gnomes. I don't know if the gnomes are in the DLC now that I think about it. But yeah, I figured we'd actually use some of my uh, soap and Squidward tentacles to talk to me. You're doing it terrific. Here's my best joke. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, this should be really easy with the soap. I don't like using soap. It feels cheap, but the game gives me two bottles to do this map, so I may as well. What's great? It has eight legs, nine brains, and dies after mating. An octopus? Wait, octopuses don't have nine brains, do they? If they do, I did not know that. Oh no, wrong book. Hang on. Wait, what? <laughs> Life cycle of the octopus. Is this an idea of someone's joke? Who gave me this? <laughs> I guess I was right. The octopus. All right, just like that, we are out of soap. So we are back to the ordinary and my favorite yellow. Kind of mad Squidward didn't tell me his joke. I, I, I kind of wanted to hear it. Oh, he's back. Yes. How does a pirate ask another pirate what regional accent it has? I don't, I don't know, Squidward. You tell me, buddy. How are you? What? What does that have to do with accents? No, no, that's terrible. Stay with me. No, I'm done. I'm done reading. Oh, here comes another Squidward joke. Are you all excited? Which ancient cephalopod demanded a seat in King Neptune's table? The Ammonite. Well, that one's beyond me. Gotta be honest. Ammonite. I'm a knight. Get it? Oh, okay. It's that bad. Okay. I, I didn't even realize that was a joke. That's why I didn't get it. Oh, great. Patrick's here now. Never a dull moment in this DLC, man. Patrick doesn't shut the hell up. <laughs> okay, that... You know what? You're way funnier than freaking Squidward, Patrick. God, that was actually pretty good. Okay, well, we are at 97%. This one was pretty easy. Not the easiest, though, because there's a lot of nooks and crannies in this. As you can see, these portholes are the death of me right now. So I'm trying to get all these done. This top view is definitely helping a lot. But yeah, vehicles in this game, not too difficult. Just a lot of areas where dirt can hide. And I'm trying to find those right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not seeing much dirt at all. I'm assuming I got quite a bit left, though, because I didn't really specifically target any area. I kind of just squirted everywhere and hope for the best. And yeah, now I just got to find that dirt. Man, these portholes are the worst. There we go. It's those lips. Oh, my God. I can't even... There's a specific... Why am I... Stop climbing that! There's a specific area. You can't even see it. Like, look at that. I have to get prone underneath it to get this. Oh, thanks for getting that panel, too. Thank you. Still haven't gotten the freaking porthole, though. See, part of it looks dirty. That's the thing. But that's just like an outline of orange. So it's really tripping me out. I'm trying to figure out where the rest of this dirt is. <gasps> yes! Okay, porthole frames four. Oh, my God. Wheel axle in windscreen frame. I've been trying to get the freaking windscreen fl fr frame forever. I can't even talk. Like, it doesn't... There's no dirt. Oh, there is dirt there. I I totally lied. If this gets it, I'm going to be so mad. Oh. <sighs> okay, everything's fine. This is this is great. This is, this is fun. All right, I guess these are technically the axles. So they go inside of the pineapple. Why is everything a pineapple? Oh, is this, a, oh, this isn't a pineapple. It just kind of looks like one. I don't know why I called it a pineapple. It's literally just a buzz. How am I gonna, supposed to get that dirt? The wheel's in the way. There we go. Okay, now I just need four porthole frames. There's 10 on here total. That's pretty bad. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay, it's in the window part of the frame. So maybe if I look up this way. Nope. Oh, there's some. <laughs> 
you can look at this for hours and there's going to be different angles where you've missed there we go porthole frame clean that one's good this one's good they're all on the other side i think oh nope we have this one okay got it on that side is this one clean yep okay so the rest are on the other side and it's the front two i think yep we got that one and that one this one doesn't have much on it so, oh, there it is. Got a little lip right there. Done. And unfortunately, it's not on that one. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this angle for that. Ah, and the bus has been cleaned. Let's watch it again because this is what everybody loves. I didn't really uh, specifically target this one. I just kind of went crazy. And um, that's generally not the way I like to do this because you waste a lot of time. And I did waste a lot of time. But yes, that is going to wrap it up for this episode, guys. In the next episode, if you guys are enjoying this, of course, we're going to be doing the legendary Krusty Krab, and uh, that should be pretty interesting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this new Power Wash DLC. Oh, the Jump Bucket as well is on this map. That's insane. Really interesting premise for some new DLC. I do love the new art style and everything. And yes, it's always satisfying to clean things, especially when you're at the bottom of the sea. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.